Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we did a bunch of the minor moons here in Bub Lane, this time we'll be doing some more minor moons here in Bub Lane. You may notice I'm wearing a different outfit, and I have some more coins than I did in the previous video. That's because off camera I went back to the Metro Kingdom, tracked down the missing purple coins from that kingdom, and played some Balloon World as well. So, uh, no more moons collected, but we do have those purple coins now. So, that's good. Um, <laughs> uh, to do that, I actually used my Bowser Amiibo, because I wanted to see how it worked, and also to simplify things a little bit in tracking down purple coins. Uh, I'm going to use it now, just so you can see what it does. Um, since otherwise you have no idea. Basically what you do, you scan her, with the Amiibo switch on, and you accidentally slip your rubber band off and you never manage to scan her correctly. There, rubber band back in place. She whirls like that, and then you can see this sort of purple shimmer shows up somewhere in the game world, so you basically have to spin your camera around until you see it. Uh, it's not always on the screen, so you do have to look around sometimes. But basically that purple shimmer is showing you an area where there's some purple coins you haven't actually collected yet. So you just head over towards it. And you can see up on that ledge there, there are some purple coins. And now I have them. So yeah, that's pretty much how it works. If you want to look for more, you have to scan again. It won't show you another shimmer. Um, there's no time limit on that though, so not a big deal. Um, but yeah, that's basically how I did the New York City one, just to save some time and get it done nice and quick, rather than having to check every single purple coin to see which ones I've missed. Uh, I'm going to be changing outfits soon, because this one's a bit too patriotic for my liking. It's actually the golf outfit, which is from, I think, a Mario Golf ad from years ago, but it, it, it looks like it's supposed to be like a patriotism thing, and I don't like it. Um, we will shortly be getting another outfit from this kingdom, because we have enough coins to do that. Uh, and I want to make a joke. So, yeah, I'm going to be getting the other uh, local outfit from this kingdom shortly. Also, I took a whole lot of damage from those little Goombas, which is a bit embarrassing. <laughs> okay, um, down here there's a sub area, so, not a sub area. I mean, sort of. It's in the it's in the overworld, but it's still a capitalist challenge area. It's kind of like that spot with the fire bro in um, what's it called? In uh, Steam Gardens. So basically, you put Cappy there on the little scarecrow. It opens up this hole here, so you can swim down without Cappy to go do this little challenge. It's pretty easy. Uh, you just gotta get the moon shards. Uh, it's got those big chompy fish. Uh, that we saw earlier in that underwater tunnel. Um, but each of the moon shards is in a bubble, so you don't have much trouble, like, getting enough air. And it's pretty easy to avoid being hit if you don't do something silly. And honestly, like, swimming around underwater with Cappy doesn't really help that much. Um, except that you can capture a fish, which would make this, like, basically trivial. You have to use Mario's regular swimming controls down here instead of taking a cheap cheap. And that's basically the challenge. Um, it's not hard though. It took a hit there, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, where's the last one? <laughs> Is it inside those crates? I usually have some trouble tracking down the very last one. As you can see, uh, there's some coins over here. Except to touch him, you can't throw Cappy at him because you haven't got her, because she's outside. Oh, there's the last one. So yeah, it's not hard. Um, it's also completely unaffected by the fact that we're crouching because we're underwater. But there you go, pretty easy. And then you get the moon. So that's our first moon for this video. Uh, it's gonna swim down there. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! There we go, now we're just going to swim back up, get Cappy, and we're done down here. There's just one moon in this area, it's quite large, but there isn't a whole lot to do, so I don't know why it's so big, it doesn't really seem necessary. There we go. Uh, 
Uh, the uh, purple dory shop is just over there, so I'm gonna go try and change outfits because I don't like this one. Uh, it's the other purple coin outfit that you can get in New York City, which is why I'm wearing it, but you don't need it for anything and I don't like it, so we're gonna change outfits. Here we go, sailor hat. I'm gonna wear the sailor hat. And the sailor suit, there we go. Uh, we could buy a bit more stuff, we won't get. Sailor Moon. <laughs> I made that joke a while ago, but I still think it's funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I'm trying to kind of remember where we need to go. There's a bunch of little sub areas and stuff to check out. We haven't actually been down there yet, which is interesting. Oh, uh, you can see there's a checkpoint down there that we haven't activated. There's a bunch of underwater checkpoints in this area, which is handy, since you don't have to worry too much about drowning. I mean, not drowning, about like getting around underwater with all the checkpoints everywhere. I believe over here there's a like, yeah. Oddly enough, if you throw Cappy at a bubble of air, that fills your air meter. So maybe Mario doesn't need to breathe, but Cappy does. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> so over here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. I'm trying to turn my volume up a little bit. I don't actually have a remote for this TV, so I've got to find the button on the side to use. I think it's that one. Yeah, there we go. You can't see what's happening because the TV's volume meter isn't being captured, but. Yeah, that just turned up the volume a little bit. Now I can hear properly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I haven't got a remote for this TV, which is a bit annoying. I mostly use it as a monitor, though, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, if we come over here, see there's another little one of these crevices here. Uh, we should be able to get out of the water and have a little breath when we get to the top here. <gasps> okay. <laughs> and yeah, there's just some purple points in there. We've, had, we've got most of the purple coins here. Uh, we should be able to get all of them. I don't think there's anything stopping us. Hello, Gushin. Ow! That's very rude of you, Gushin. I was just hanging around here trying to think of where to go next, and I got I got squirted by a nasty gushing. <laughs> uh, I don't remember if this kingdom has something in the sky to look at. I can never remember which kingdoms do. Uh, let's see. Where's the moon? You've got the moon if you want, but nothing that will reward us for looking at it, so... I guess not in this one. Uh, boop. The easiest life up part in the game to get. <laughs> so, so, so trivial. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I guess the idea is that the boss battle starts in here in the middle, so they want you to have a heart handy, but the boss battle is in the normal area, and it's right in the middle of the regular kingdom, so you can always harvest that whenever you want it, basically. Um, I think there's some moons I can get. Uh, this pole wasn't here before, it only shows up once you've gone through the tunnel. Uh, because it makes you, like, really easily get up to the lighthouse by going that way. Uh, there's some chefs here, chatting about forks and stuff. Uh, this, I think this, um, I oh, know it's that one. Yeah, that guy wants to see this one fly over to the Glass Palace. So what you have to do, Glass Palace is the middle there, of course. What you have to do is just capture Glide on and then fly over there. It's pretty easy. Unless you do that, in which case it's not so easy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we'll come back to that in a little bit. It's very easy if you don't accidentally uncapture Glide on halfway through. Uh, which I did. <laughs> I got blonked. Uh, 
Apparently she would just climb at full speed all the time without shaking the controller, but you don't. Uh, anyway, so glide on. We just gotta fly over to the glass palace. It's not hard in any way. Unless you accidentally uncapture glide on. All I'm doing is holding B. There we go, easy peasy. And then this guy will give you the moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, we're gonna do like 10 moons or so in this video, I don't know. We'll see how we go. Uh, Glidon, of course, can't swim, so yeah. <laughs> Glidon dies or something, maybe. I don't know. I don't think we've done the race yet. Oh, maybe we have done the race. Actually, I think we have done the race now I think about it. Uh, or maybe we haven't? Can't see it. Oh, there it is. It's that one. It's right at the bottom. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we've already done the race, so we can do it again. Uh, until later, when the second race unlocks, obviously. Uh, I think this sparkle over here is a moon? There is a moon under one of these spots. Yeah, there it is. Yeah! So yeah, it's kind of dangerous because of all those guys, but it's not too tricky. They don't actually come low enough to hit you if you're standing on the ground, so not too much to worry about. <laughs> yeah, it is really strange that Cappy can get the air bubbles. It's like, like, Cappy and Mario, I keep accidentally pushing the button. There we go, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <sighs> Cappy and Mario both need to breathe because Mario alone still needs to breathe, like in that, um, capless area we did a little while ago. But that's not necessarily always the case because Cappy can get air instead and it somehow gives Mario air when you do that. It's, it's strange. And when you're doing that, like, Mario's air meter goes down. Cappy doesn't have a separate air meter. She's fine, so... Hmm. Uh, there's another move we can get. You can see there's like a crack in the ground there. Basically, what we have to do is descend into the crack there. Uh, okay, this is a 2D challenge area, as you can see. Uh, and it's timed, and you have to start it outside the pipe. So this might be a bit tricky. Uh, we'll see how we go. So you push the button, those little platforms show up. Ah, oh, close. Came close to doing it first try, but let's try that again. So yeah, you get the idea. You have to get all the way up to the moon in one go, since all the platforms vanish and then you can't reach it. Oh my goodness. That's what I was worried about. Um, okay. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a thing. Oh my goodness. Okay. So yeah, you, you have to activate it outside. And then do the perfectly timed jump to get in. And then you have to really quickly make your way over there. Oh my goodness. This is... Definitely gonna be a thing. Um, I broke two of those. I don't know if they stay broken. I think it might reset when you hit the button. No, they stay broken. Okay. So, so we can make a little bit of progress and then come back and try again. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no, <laughs> Mario! <laughs> uh, 
Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just pound the thing. I think there's a little more leeway there than there are in some of these, which makes it a bit easier than it otherwise would be. No! Yeah, but yeah, to, to um, enter the area, I think there's a bit more leeway than there normally is. Since, as you can see, I'm not having that much trouble entering. No! <laughs> Oh, so close. <laughs> okay, the blocks stay broken, so if I just keep trying, I should be able to get up there. This may take a couple of tries. <laughs> also, um, the uh, 2D area isn't underwater, even though the 3D area is, which is kind of strange, but helpful for our purposes because it means our air refills when we go into the 2D section. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Oh, wow, that was really, really hard. <laughs> So really, really fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, the camera's actually locked facing this way, so yeah, there's nothing hidden behind this. I thought I thought there was one, but I wanted to just make sure. Ah, okie doke. What next? What next? Mario, no. Mario, no. <laughs> shift the rubber band a little bit. I, th I think it might be re-pushing the button every now and then instead of just holding it. Which causes problems since half a Z-press has certain effects and a whole Z-press has different effects. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um... I'm pretty sure we... Yeah, we already did that. Okay. Um... I'm just thinking what else needs doing. Uh, there's some more purple coins in the underwater tunnel, I remember. Maybe I'll bring a fish this time, just to simplify going through there. I already showed you can do it without a fish. Uh, we have to go to the shop and buy a moon there. Uh, yeah, there's still some purple coins down here. I think we already got the only moon. Pretty sure there's just the one. So yeah, you can actually enter the tunnel without any trouble, without using a fish. But once you're down here, well you can swim through without a fish too, it's just, there's a couple of things that are a bit tricky to get without one. See, so as a fish this is much, much easier, there's no time constraint, because you don't have limited air, and you swim faster and in less weird directions. Uh, since you go basically on a flat axis and you can control your vertical as much as you like. Like a submarine, rather than like a Mario. <laughs> Those are the two options. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, that's always down here, just those three purple points. As I mentioned, there's a moon, but we already got it, so we're good. Okie doke. Uh, let me think, there's still a sub area over here that we need to do. Um, there's a secret path that we'll be doing later. Let me look at the stats. There's the two, um, volley the volleyball moons, there's two of those. Um, I'm planning to cheese that. Um, the way I usually do that is with the two-player mode. Uh, Cappy can return the volleyball instead, it's much easier. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Much easier than having Mario do it, because uh, she's faster. Even in a normal run, it's, it's much easier to have just Mario sit on the side and have Cappy do that. So that's what I usually do. <laughs> so I will be doing it that way, so it won't be changed much. Um, Um, just like the jump rope challenge, you're supposed to get 100 in a row in order to get the second moon. 
And just like the jump rope challenge, I have never managed to get to 100 without cheesing it in some way. <laughs> Here's the sub area I was thinking of. Oh, this isn't actually a sub area, it's just one of these. Only it's underwater, so it's gonna be the same as normal instead of way harder. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! I forgot there was this one actually. Uh, I, I thought that, that they only would happen on land. Completely forgot about that. Well, it's done now. Um, it was hilariously easy compared to the other ones because we had regular controls instead of crouching controls. <laughs> uh, okay. Also, yeah, there's lots of coins just sitting on the o on the ocean floor like this, which is kind of cool. You can just dive down and spew up a bunch of coins whenever you want, pretty much. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. I honestly thought you couldn't enter the area at all unless you captured a cheap cheap, but that is not the case. You can go all the way through without capturing a cheap cheap. Hello. Oh, I need a move from here, thanks. You're welcome. <sighs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Thank you. Uh, let's see, what else needs done? 41 out of 52. I know one of those is impossible. So we have 10 moons to go. Maybe I'll stop the video at this point do the other 10 in the next video. I mean, if I only do 9 in the next video anyway, um, because we can't do the secret... Well, I'm going to try to do the secret path. Let's do it now. Let's try to do the secret path. So yeah, the way is, the way you're intended to do the secret path is to go find the painting in another kingdom. It's up there. You can see that ledge up there with the, with the little chest. But the way you can cheese the secret path and do it from this kingdom is by getting a gushion. Whoomy! And then flying up here where this moon is. And from here... It is possible... to get up here. Very easily, actually. <laughs> I kind of thought that would be harder. Uh, I'm gonna hit the checkpoint. Uh, but... Yeah, I'll grab the moon now. There we go. So yeah, that's pretty much the easiest secret path moon to cheese. You can do this with a couple of the others too, but it's much harder. The gushing one, this gushing one is the easiest by far. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! I honestly thought it would take me a couple of tries, but it didn't. <laughs> okay, so we have nine moons here now, 42, 52. So yeah, there's ten more that can be gotten. Well, I mean, there's ten, there's ten more on the A side. One of them is impossible, one of them I'm saving for the other side because it's the, uh, well, it's the beach moon and I think that belongs on the B side. Um, so, there'll be eight moons in the next video, nine moons in this video. Alright, uh, actually I think, oh no, I actually collected all of these already. I kind of thought some of these might be, like, ready to be popped and collected, but they're all collected. Okay. Okay, so... I reckon we'll call this a video. I'll go cash in these nine moons. In the next one we can get eight moons and then we'll be ready for the B side of this kingdom. That's pretty exciting. Uh, but yeah, let's go cash these in. Happy, you were supposed to land on the globe. <laughs> Da da yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, that's it for this video. Next time, we will get the rest of the A-side moons that we can get here. So, that's all of them except for the uh, costume room moon, because that requires you to do a dance cutscene, which we can't do because we're crouching. Uh, so, we will be at... 50 moons? We'll be getting 8 more in the next video. And then we'll be opening the moon rock in the video after that. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's where we're up to. Um, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and woo me to all of you. <laughs> this kingdom's so peaceful. I love that music. Bow da da. Bow da 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 da.